Hey everybody, Shadok here from Synergistic Gaming, playing the Guild Wars 2 beta. In this video, I will be showing you guys the first quest as a char. So I'm on my char necromancer right now. Just in time, soldier. The ghost's army has been bashing that, game, that gate for weeks. Finally broken through. Fight your way to the front and report to Centurion Cry's Knife for orders. For the Legion. So, th I just created this character, and this is where you started. This is uh, an instanced area. You can tell from the red all around, because that's where you can't go. So basically the way Necro works is your attacks hit, like you're swinging, but your attacks are actually ranged. You're cutting them with, like, ghostly slashes, I guess. Which is pretty freaking cool. If you've played the original Guild Wars, um, you'll know that, well this is pretty cool. You can actually control this cannon thing, that's pretty awesome. But if you've played the original Guild Wars, then you'll know that the Char were the enemies of the human, and they uh, were trying to take over Ascalon. Well, apparently they succeeded in, by the time of Guild Wars 2, but everyone in Ascalon uh, was turned into a ghost in a big event that happened. And now they are having a hard time in their new homeland, I guess, because of these ghosts. As I've said in most of my videos, don't mind the lag because this is early beta and the servers are a lot more stressed than they have been at, at any other point in time, so there is bound to be a little bit of lag. I don't really know how you loot a ghost's body, but okay. That makes sense. Oh, and terrible, terrible lag. So this is definitely a nice change of pace from a lot of games where you start off and you're in 
some crappy little tutorial area and they tell you, okay, use this skill, okay, use that skill. It's a lot more fun, but at the same time, it is a bit confusing if you aren't familiar with the controls. Oh boy. It's, it's not very easy to uh, learn the game when they don't tell you how to play, really. They just give you a few little tips. So I guess we're just... Oh boy, I was taken down. So I'm trying to get myself up. There's people around me are trying to get me up. Uh, the starting areas all seem to be a bit more laggy than the rest of the game right now, but that'll be fixed by the time the game's out, I'm sure. There we go. And one cool thing is actually the healing for the Necro. You summon a minion that attacks heal you. Which is definitely a cool thing. There we go. So we destroyed that giant statue thing that had been uh, possessed or whatever. Not really with any help from me considering I was laying on the ground most of the time. And now we're loading. Loading, loading, loading. Okay. Um, well then, I can't move right now, so, there we go. It's a bit of a delay until the cutscene. I heard what you did down in that crypt, soldier. Impressive. Tribune Brimstone was calling the shots. I just did my job. Don't sell yourself short. You were part of the team that took down Baradin and stopped the ghost assault. Mostead is safe now, and you helped make it that way. People are still on edge, though. It'd help if they saw someone like you looking around, lending a hand. The quicker we get this place squared away, the sooner the Legion can get back to business. You can help. I'd rather have volunteer. But if I have to issue an order, I will. That won't be necessary, Legionnaire. I hereby volunteer. So that was the end of the first Char quest. Then I get a reward, a leather bag to store things in, then either a wooden focus or a war horn, which are just two different types of offhands. Um, so... There you go, and I leveled up. So that's it for the first char quest. If you guys have any questions, be sure to let me know. If you liked what you saw, be sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.